Have you ever wondered why cats have six claws? It's a question that has mystified pet owners and animal lovers for ages. Why six, exactly? Why not five or seven? Is there something magical about the number six? Well, dear listener, there's no sorcery involved here. Just a fascinating blend of biology and evolution. Our exploration begins with the simple fact that most cats, from your friendly neighborhood tabby to the majestic lions of the Serengeti, possess a total of 18 claws. That's four on each of their back paws and five on each of their front paws, including a unique, somewhat thumb-like claw known as the dew claw. But what's with that extra sixth claw on some cat's front paws? Is it a genetic glitch or is there a purpose behind this peculiar feature? The answer to this question takes us on a journey through time, back to when cats first roamed the earth. We'll dive into the world of feline biology tracing the development of claws from the earliest feline ancestors to the modern house cat that purrs at your feet. We'll explore how the environment and the process of evolution have shaped the cat's anatomy, leading to the existence of this sixth claw. And yet, the story doesn't end there. While biology and evolution provide a foundation, the mystery of the sixth claw deepens when we consider the role of domestication. How has human intervention affected the feline claw structure? And what does this sixth claw mean for our furry friend's behavior? Prepare to embark on an intriguing adventure, one that will take you through the fascinating world of feline biology and evolution. Join us as we delve into the history and science behind one of nature's most intriguing design choices. As we journey together, we'll uncover the truth behind this sixth claw mystery transforming the way you see your feline companion. So strap in and prepare your curiosity. Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of a cat's six claws. To understand the six claws, we first need to delve into the biology of a cat's paw. So let's take a journey into the intricate world of our feline friend's paws. Picture this, a cat's paw is a marvel of nature's engineering. It's compact yet highly functional, composed of several bones, tendons, and ligaments. But our focus for today is the most fascinating part of this assembly, the claws. On a typical cat's paw, you'll find five claws on the front and four on the back. You might be thinking, wait, but we're talking about six claws, right? Hold that thought, we'll get there soon. These claws are retractable, which means cats can pull them back when they're not in use. It's like having a set of tiny sharp knives that you can whip out whenever you need them. Handy, isn't it? This retractability helps keep the claws sharp by preventing wear and tear from walking and running. The arrangement of these claws is also quite interesting. The four main claws face forward, while the fifth, known as the dew claw, sits a little higher up on the paw. This dew claw is similar to our thumb, albeit not as flexible. It's used mainly for climbing and grasping prey. Now let's talk about that elusive sixth claw. Some cats, especially certain breeds, have an extra claw on their front paws. This additional claw is known as a polydactyl claw. Polydactyl cats are quite special because this extra claw gives them a larger, wider paw, which can be advantageous in certain situations. So in essence, each claw on a cat's paw has a distinct function, from hunting and climbing to self-defense. They're far more than just adorable toe beans. They're practical tools that play a crucial role in a cat's day-to-day -day life. Now that we understand the biology, it's time to look at how evolution played a part. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mystery of the sixth claw. Ever considered how evolution factors into a cat's six claws? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of evolution and adaptation. Evolution is a gradual process that occurs over millions of years. It works on the principle of survival of the fittest. The fittest are those who are best adapted to their environment, and they pass on their beneficial traits to their offspring. In the case of cats, they evolved in environments that required them to be agile climbers and efficient hunters. Picture this, a cat in the wild, millions of years ago, stalking its prey through the underbrush. It needs sharp tools to catch its food, defend itself, and navigate the treacherous terrain. Enter the claws, or more specifically, six claws. But why six? Well, the answer lies in the magic of adaptation. The extra claw provided an edge, a literal and figurative one, in survival. It offered cats better grip and balance while climbing trees, and a deadly weapon when it came to hunting. 
Over time, this six-clawed trait became more common, as cats with this adaptation were more likely to survive and reproduce. That's natural selection in action. The sixth claw was not just an oddity, it was a survival tool, honed by millions of years of evolution. But wait, there's more. Cats are what we call digitigrades. That means they walk directly on their toes, with the bones of their feet making up the lower part of the visible leg. This unique structure, combined with their retractable claws, makes them silent stalkers and nimble climbers. So the six claws are not a random quirk. They are a testament to the power of evolution and adaptation, a story written over millions of years. Each claw is a symbol of survival, a tool shaped by the relentless force of natural selection. Evolution has made cats into efficient hunters and climbers, but what about domestic cats? Well, that's a tale for the next scene. Stay tuned to explore the journey of cats from the wild to your living room. From wild predators to our beloved house pets, how does the sixth claw fit into domestication? To understand this, let's delve into the world of our furry friends. Despite being domesticated, cats still retain their sixth claw. This seems like a paradox, right? Why would a creature that has swapped the wild for our cozy homes still need an extra claw? Well, the answer lies in the very essence of what makes a cat, a cat. You see, domestication hasn't erased cats' instincts. Their predatory nature, agility, and territorial behavior are all still very much alive. And the sixth claw? It's a part of this package. In a domestic setting, the sixth claw isn't used for survival per se, but it does play a part in shaping a cat's behavior. Think about it. When your feline friend is playfully swatting at a toy, or perhaps more frustratingly at your furniture, what's in action? Yes, you've got it, the claws. The sixth claw provides that extra bit of grip and control, making playtime more engaging and hunting simulations more realistic. This claw also plays a role in their self-defense mechanism. While our homes provide a safe haven for cats, they still occasionally encounter situations where they need to defend themselves. Whether it's a territorial dispute with another cat or a sudden scare, the sixth claw comes in handy, providing an extra line of defense. Furthermore, the sixth claw aids in climbing and maintaining balance. As natural climbers, cats often find the highest perch in the house to survey their territory. The extra claw provides additional grip and stability, making these acrobatics possible. So while the sixth claw may not be as crucial for survival in a domestic setting as it was in the wild, it's still very much a part of a cat's toolkit. It contributes to their playful nature, defense mechanism, and love for heights. While the sixth claw may not be as vital for survival in a domestic setting, it still plays a part in a cat's behavior. It's not just about survival. The sixth claw also influences a cat's behavior. Now let's dive into how this unique aspect of feline anatomy affects their day-to-day -day actions. The sixth claw, also known as the dew claw, is not just an evolutionary relic, but plays an active role in how cats interact with their environment. Consider the quintessential cat behavior, scratching. Cats love to scratch, and it's not just to sharpen their claws. It's a form of exercise, stretching their muscles and flexing their toes. The sixth claw adds an extra dimension to this activity. It works like a thumb, allowing the cat to grip and manipulate the scratching post or your favorite couch. Next, let's talk about play. Cats are natural hunters and their play often mimics hunting behaviors. They stalk, pounce, and grab their toys. And the sixth claw comes in handy here. It gives them an additional point of contact, allowing them to handle their toys with more precision. So when your cat is batting around that ball of yarn, it's the sixth claw that's providing that extra bit of control. And then there's climbing. Cats are excellent climbers and their claws are an essential part of this skill. The sixth claw provides extra grip, helping them navigate tricky vertical surfaces. Whether it's scaling the living room curtains or tackling the branches of a backyard tree, the sixth claw plays a crucial role in a cat's climbing prowess. What's more, the sixth claw also aids in grooming. Cats are fastidious creatures and they spend a significant portion of their day grooming themselves. The sixth claw helps them to reach those hard to get spots and maintain their pristine coats. So, the sixth claw is more than just an evolutionary leftover. It's an integral part of a cat's life. 
It influences everything from play to grooming, adding an extra layer of complexity to their behaviors. And that's just one more reason why our feline friends are such fascinating creatures. Naturally, there are numerous questions surrounding a cat's claws. This topic, indeed, sparks intrigue and sometimes concern among pet enthusiasts and feline caretakers. Let's dive into the most common queries. First off, the health of a cat's claws. Just like our nails, a cat's claws are an important aspect of their overall health. Regular inspection of your cat's claws is essential. Look out for any signs of infection, inflammation, or abnormal growth. Anomalies could indicate an underlying health issue. Another common question is about claw clipping. Should you clip your cat's claws? The answer is yes, it can be done, but with caution and care. Regular trimming can help prevent injury to both the cat and its human companions. However, it's critical to avoid cutting into the quick, the pink part inside a cat's claw. This area is sensitive and cutting into it can cause pain and bleeding. It's always a good idea to seek advice from a vet or a professional groomer if you're unsure about the process. On to the controversial topic of declawing. Is it okay to declaw a cat? The simple answer is no. Declawing is not just a nail trim. It's a surgical procedure that involves the amputation of the last bone of each toe. It can cause severe pain, behavioral changes, and long-term physical complications for your feline friend. Many countries and states have laws against declawing unless it's medically necessary for the cat's health. Remember, a cat's claws are not just for scratching furniture or catching prey. They're essential tools for climbing, balancing, and self-defense. They also play a vital role in a cat's emotional well-being. So before you consider any drastic measures, remember that understanding and respecting a cat's natural behavior and biology is the key to a harmonious coexistence. Understanding a cat's claws is crucial for their care and well-being. And with this knowledge, you're one step closer to becoming the best cat parent you can be. Let's take a moment to recap our exploration of the cat's sixth claw. We embarked on this journey with the mystery of the six-clawed feline, a question that has intrigued pet lovers and scientists alike. We dove into the biology behind these claws, discovering that they are not just extensions of the cat's skin, but a complex structure of bone and tissue. The claws are retractable, a unique feature among domestic animals, and their sharpness is maintained by the cat's instinctual behavior of scratching. Our exploration then led us into the realm of evolution and adaptation. Cats belong to the family Felidae, which evolved millions of years ago. Over time, the structure of their paws has adapted to suit their lifestyle. The additional claw, often referred to as the dew claw, is a remnant of this evolutionary process. It doesn't touch the ground when cats walk, but it's functional and used in activities like climbing and hunting. We also discussed how domestication might have influenced the sixth claw. As cats moved from wild environments to our homes, they didn't need to hunt for survival anymore. However, their claws, including the sixth one, remained as crucial tools for play, self-defense, and communication. Then, we delved into the correlation between the sixth claw and cat behavior. This extra claw plays a vital role in how cats interact with their environment. It aids in gripping prey or toys, climbing trees or furniture, and even in self-grooming. We also address the frequently asked questions about cat's claws, dispelling myths and misconceptions. From understanding why cats scratch furniture to explaining the necessity of regular claw care, we covered it all. So the next time you see a cat flexing its claws, remember, there's a fascinating tale of biology and evolution behind it. The journey of the six claws is a testament to the incredible adaptability and resilience of these beloved creatures, a tale that continues to unfold as we learn more about our feline friends.